look back, I begin to, to fathom the idea that Act 1 might be the easiest, but if it's going to be difficult again, then by Act 3 it's going to be... I'm glad I had all this stuff for you, just in case. So... I gotta be glad for that. So for now it might be easy, but as we go along, yeah, then it's gonna get real fun. We don't need you now. All this gold. So I've already been there. Tell you what, Xanthem is gonna have a shield. No, I'm gonna have a shield for Xanthem. Xanthem's gonna get himself a shield. Xanthem, Xanthem's gonna get a shield because I'm going to tank his his bites. <laughs> and <clears throat> I can imagine that armor isn't the com comfiest, the most comfortable. in the temple, as you instructed. The orb must be placed within the chamber of ashes within the crypts. If your man fails to do this, then both of you shall answer for it. Yes, my lord. He knows your wishes, and he will not fail you. Very well. Bring me the prisoner you found in the sewers. I will question him now. Um... My lord, I, I sent for the prisoner some time ago, but I have received no word from the bugbears in the sewers. Send your men into the sewers. Find out what has happened to our soldiers and bring me the prisoner. Do not fail me in this, Khan. Yes, my lord. Should I recall the man I sent to the temple? No. If he places the orb as instructed, he will not be coming back. Tell your men to avoid the temple grounds. To enter it now is certain death.
Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually need more than one hit. I, I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Run now before he changes you. Whoa, whoa, hold it, time out. <laughs> Who are you and uh what's going on down here? I I am Fayed, a priest of Ilmatter. I attend the crypts and perform burial rites here at the Shrine of Suffering. Now now I fear that I shall be the next one to be changed. Changed? Into the walking dead! Haven't you seen them? They're everywhere! My fellow brothers and sisters of the temple... ...all dead. I was taking an urn of ashes to one of the crypts... ...when I discovered a strange set of tracks leading downwards. When I followed them, I found that thing... ...that foul orb, and the dead arose around me. Vile skeletons, zombies, on holy ground. I acted quickly, sealing this level off from the level below, then barricaded myself in this room. I had hoped sealing off this level would prevent the dead from reaching here. I was wrong. How did you seal it off? We priests of Ilmat are set up some non-lethal traps here in the crypts to capture grave robbers. The trap that sealed off the exits is triggered by three urns on this level. When these urns are taken from their pedestals, stone blocks seal off all the exits from this level. I knocked all the urns from their pedestals and then barricaded myself in here. But I was not fast enough. Some of the dead had already entered this level, and the power of that... that thing below seems to be able to reach even here. Fortunately, I am able to hide myself from the eyes of these undead creatures, for the time being. I can only hope that the gates and wards will prevent the dead from reaching the level above. Where are all these undead coming from, by the way? They're coming from below, from that... that thing in the Chamber of Ashes. It's an orb. I only caught a glimpse of it, what it was doing to my fellow priests. The orb calls to their spirits, then kills them. Slowly letting them die, then raising them again so they may suffer in undeath as well. It hates all of us priests. Even now, I can hear it calling, trying to draw me to it so it can kill me, then raise me from the dead to perform its will. Where'd this word come from? I don't know. I was delivering an urn to the lower crypts when I suddenly noticed tracks on the floor. As I am the only one who usually comes down here, I became curious and followed them. The thief. Where the tracks lead? They lead to the level below. That was when I noticed a foul-smelling mist emanating from the Chamber of Ashes. When I entered the chamber, there it was. A swirling gray orb surrounded by bodies and, and this horrid glow. And without thinking, I ran ran and hid. It's probably while you're still alive. Take the secret door back to the sewers to get back to the streets. And tell the guards in place what happened. No, my place is here. I... I should help you, not run from this. If I can help you, I will.
In case no one knows this point. Anyone watching might be wondering. This is the setup that three tapped that not three tapped. That is this is the setup that quick killed Eldritch the first time around. This is the setup that wiped her that wiped her dead. So with a set like this, you might be wondering why I'm playing on hard instead of extreme, when I noticed early on that this could wipe through everything. To be honest, just to get to the Onyx Tower again and probably find some better gear. Even if it means doing it twice at the end of the day. And after I'm going, I might get there either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, at this point, I'm not gonna even open up any chests at all. I'm not gonna bother doesn't mean anything to me. I'm waiting until at least Act 3, somewhere in Act 3. The things I got in that tower, I only wish I could afford. I could, I could only dream of having. It's a shooting gallery in here, it's a shootout! Look at this.
Even if they are jokes, I can't be too careful because if they whittle me down enough, I can and will die. Hey, all the orbs are right next, all the urns are right next to each other. Oh my goodness. Getting dead space levels of zombies in here. Yeah. 
I just remembered I have to go in here for a quest, so... Yeah, him. He's the reason I have to go into the crypts. Why'd I pick that up? Thanks for the rescue down in the sewers, friend. I feel like a right fool for not heeding my own advice and staying clear of that place. Here are a few coins as a way of thanks. I'm an old trinket of mine from my younger days. It's not much, but it may be of use to you. Thanks. Did you find that thief who was running around in the sewers? Not yet. to find me a bottle of Aleth's best yet? Will this do? Hi, it'll do me well enough. Thank you, friend. I here, have a bottle from me. No idea what the thing does, but it smells awful and it doesn't seem to have the kick I was looking for. Well met, friend. It's good to see a new face in the Elf Song. Please have a seat, share a drink. Uh, my name's Ipswich. And what brings you to Baldur's Gate? I was looking for rich. I was looking for uh, fame and fortune, but I was robbed on the way in. Ah, oh, sad tale, friend. My heart goes out to you. It seems Baldur's Gate has not been treating its visitors well of late. I too am a stranger here. Really? What brought you here? Well, I came to pay my respects at the Shrine of Suffering, the local temple run by the priests of Ilmatter. But I came to find the temple sealed, and no one answered my summons. I had a terrible feeling that something was wrong inside, but I did not know what. What took you to the Shrine? <sighs> my brother's bones lie within the crypts beneath the Shrine. I'd hoped to pay my respects at his grave and take back with me his medallion that had been buried with him. It was always his intention that it be passed on through our family, and now that I have a little one of my own, I wish my child to have the medallion. But now I do not know what to do, so I sit here, drink, and wait for the shrine to awake. Well, you'll be glad to know I found a way to the shrine. If I come across medallion, I'll bring it back. No trouble. Are you okay? I, I've been waiting for someone, but I fear I wait in vain. May I ask who? My man, Kissin, had just gone on an uh, expedition into the north to a place called Battle of the Bones, where the dead still walk. He walked into the shrine. <laughs> he has a talent for the shadowy arts. And he had been asked to recover an item, an orb, for someone, then bring it here to Baldur's Gate. The amount of money he was being offered was more than either of us had ever seen. He has been lied to. Guess who that person was? When I spoke to him about the expedition, however, he was acting strangely. Almost dazed, as if he'd been hypnotized or charmed. He was obsessed with finding this orb for his new employer. We had agreed to meet here in the Elf Song should anything happen. But it's been almost three nights now, and I have seen no sign of him. I fear for the worst. I fear that the orb he recovered may have done something horrible to him. Tell you what, if I see her here, Keeson, I'll let you know. Thank you for finding Ethan. He told me what happened down in the sewers. Here's some coins for your trouble, and please, you're welcome to rest here anytime, no charge. Why, oh, thanks.
<laughs> Welcome back. Something I can get for you. What's that thing hanging about the fireplace? That's a stuffed beholder. A small version of the species, I'm told. But not that I've seen many of them. One of my regulars, Ethan, found it in the cellar. What's beholder? They're also called eye tyrants, if that name's any more familiar to you. Beholders are beasts that float above the ground and can cast terrible spells from their eyes. Evil things. I wouldn't want to meet one, and neither would you. Oh, thanks for telling me. Fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. But in fact, the medallion's somewhere on the upper level. It's lying on a table somewhere. The orb is in there, I'm not going in there just yet. That being pretty much everything, I need to see how wrong I am by checking these rooms. So it's on the upper level, as I recall correctly.
There it is. This looks important. Let's see how fast we can do this. Sorry my new game plus setup didn't let you do anything. You've done it! I feared that we were lost! Oh, Ill Matter has truly sent you to us in our darkest hour. Where did this foul orb come from? Well, I found this map on the body of the thief. I think he was sent here to place the orb here on purpose. Someone did this horrid act on purpose? All those deaths, who would wish us such harm? That's a good question. I am gonna find out. This is grave news. I appreciate all you have done for us. Please, accept this as a small token of our temple's thanks. I will consult with our remaining priests and see if they can determine who was behind this evil act. I will send someone to you should we discover anything. Wait for a messenger at the Elf Song Tavern. We will contact you should we learn anything. All right. I'll go right there and wait. See you around. It's good to see you again, friend. How fares your travels? This medallion you talked about. Why? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> thank you. I feared I would have to leave Baldur's Gate without it. Oh, thank you. Please, friend, you must accept this in gratitude for your kind act. It aided me on my travels, and perhaps it can help you now. As you have helped me. Why, thank you. The Mace of Destruction is back. I heard about what you did at the temple. It's good to see my weapons and armor being put to good use. Please, 
Leave me be. I want no trouble. I found the body of a thief in the crypts. I think it's the person you spoke about. He didn't survive the power of the orb he had stolen. I knew it. And my bones. And my heart I knew. Thank you, stranger, for setting my mind at ease. At least I know his fate. He gave me this to hold for him until we were together again. But I have no use for it now. Here, you have it. Keep it. And hopefully it will serve you and keep you from his fate. Thank you. Thank you for this. And I am sorry for your loss. But I can't carry a maze because I got some beastly milk weapons, so, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't spend too much time with me, stranger. Best move on, lest my misfortune attach itself to you. May I ask what you mean by that? Surely you've heard of the thieves plaguing Baldur's Gate? Well, one of them waylaid the merchant caravan I was guarding while we were less than a league from Baldur's Gate. What happened? They came upon us in the night, slaughtered several guards, and made off with most of the caravan's goods, including a box of rare spices from Om. I was hoping that I could track down the thieves and set the matter right by at least recovering the box of spices. But since coming to the city, I've had no luck tracking down their guild. You may have, you might, you might not have heard, but I'm also looking for those thieves. So, if I come across that box of spices, I'll let you know. You're kind, stranger, but I fear that you'll have as little luck as I've had. Carry my best wishes with you in any event. Well met, adventurer. Ethan has told me of how you rescued him in the sewers, and I have already heard of your bravery in the Shrine of Suffering. I decided that I would see this hero for myself. I am not disappointed. I hope you shall not disappoint me. What do you mean? Your actions in the temple showed great courage and sacrifice. A willingness to risk your life to protect others. An admirable quality. Ethan and I are members of the Harpers. A group whose members have dedicated their lives to the safety of the realms and its people. I invite you to join us. We seek men and women of courage to band with us to protect the realms when the realms cannot protect itself. As a harper, you will have our support. We will do what we can to help you in the realms. We are in need of your help against a grave threat to Baldur's Gate. What say you? Bring it on. Excellent. There's no time to waste. We need you to perform a task for us. The orb you encountered in the temple was placed there for a reason. It was intended to sow chaos, to distract the city watch in order to allow another group to operate freely. What group? The dead man you found in the room with the orb was a thief. He was a member of a thieves' guild, a new guild that has appeared in Baldur's Gate. This guild follows the symbol of a bloody eye, and they left their mark on the bodies of two city watchmen murdered several days ago. This guild has declared war on the existing Baldur's Gate Thieves' Guild. In the past few days, many of the old guild's members have vanished. Dead, most likely. Want me to take care of the problem? That may be asking too much. Of greatest concern to us is the rumor of powerful magic backing this guild. Perhaps a mage, or several mages. The power of the orb in the Shrine of Suffering is proof of this. Whatever the source of this new guild's strength, we would like you to infiltrate the guild and find out who or what is behind it. I'll get right to it. Excellent. Another agent of ours tracked one of the thieves to a secret guild entrance below the city. It's a secret door on the first level of the sewers in the northeast section. We have no idea how to open the door, however. 
It bears a special enchantment that is proof against most magics. I found this key on the dead thief's body. Would it work? Let me see it. Ah, yes, a curious item. It seems to bear a minor enchantment that dispels shadows, but the enchantment in the key is dormant. Perhaps its close proximity to the orb disrupted the enchantment. I may be able to awaken it. Ah, there we are. It should function as intended now. Simply bring it close to the secret door in the sewers, and the key will reveal the door and allow you to open it. All right. Please be careful. These thieves have already killed some of the city watch. They will not hesitate to kill you if you're discovered. I'll be careful. I'll live. See you around. So, I can't take the mace with me, but at this point it's not like I really care. Seeing as... Though it has helped me in the past. <laughs> um, with all the stuff I have right now that's slaying everything in sight, I'm not going to be too mad about not picking it up. More like the guy who gave it to me. There's there's a there's some uh, stairs outside that should lead straight to it. This isn't the place for that. This entrance has just reopened. Well, this isn't going to be a good talk. What happened in the temple? Why do the priests still live? I do not know, my Lord Xanthan. I have heard rumors that the orb was destroyed before it could do more than slay a few priests. By whom? I do not know for certain, my Lord, but... I think my thieves and I may have met the attacker on the city streets above. If they were one of your victims, how is it this creature still lives? The City Watch came upon us as we were about to deal the killing blows, my lord. We were forced to flee to avoid being captured. Your oversight has cost us much, Khan. Gather the soldiers. Although our secret entrances still remain undetected, it's a real matter of time before the dogs of the City Watch sniff us out, and we must be prepared for them. I will see to it at once, my lord. Khan, if the creature who destroyed the orb should make its way here... It shall not come to that, my lord. I swear it. We shall see, Khan. If you fail me in this, I shall attend to the matter personally.
something. This is where it gets fun. And in case anyone's wondering, I have a bunch of recall potions this time, so what happened last time is not going to happen again. That is payback for the gauntlet. That is sweet, sweet payback. Even if it is pitiful, pitiable and uh, trivial. Pitiable and minimal. They still pack a punch, oh my goodness.
Oh boy. First push I had to use since starting this new game plus. So, you've come all this way to think I missed the chance to kill you when we first met. Surrender now, Karn. If these are dead and you are cornered... You speak the truth. I would not expected you to make it through the gauntlet. Still, it matters little whether you kill me or not. For either way, you will still die. Pending what? Even if you kill me, my lord waits below. Your death at his hands will be a slow one compared to the mercy I will show you. I offer such mercy myself, Karn.
Get me out of here. Thank you. Which means for this purpose, I will use the one-headed sword. Make it your best shield. Word is you're taking on that new thieves guild, friend. Watch your back. And maybe get some armor for it, too. No room. Any of these weapons would be sure to stop a thief dead in his tracks. If you're taking on the new guild, be sure to get them all. Spend too much time with me, stranger. Best move on. Lest my misfortune attach itself to you. These are spot box. Let me try it again. Jesus. These are the box of spices you were talking about. The spices. You found them. Oh, you have my thanks, stranger. Please take this as payment. It's the least I can give you for returning the spices to me. My thanks. See you around. You're kidding me. I just bought one. I'm carrying a mule's weight already. Seconds later, what the hell are you selling back my shield for? I just got a better one. Sue me. Watch your back. stranger that Khan spoke of. You humanoids all look alike to me, weak and fragile. Khan should have killed you when he had the chance. As if he had another. It is no matter. There are always others like him, small-minded and foolish, eager to take his place. You humanoids were born to be our slaves. This slave just wiped out your entire guild. They're all taking a nap upstairs, and you're next. And you will answer for those deaths. Do you think that your efforts here have saved this city? You're wrong. Our power extends far beyond these city streets. You cannot hope to stop us all. I sure as hell can try. It is you who will die, and your death will be a slow one.
That's why I got the shield. You have accomplished far more than I could have hoped. Truly, the Harpers are blessed to have you among our number. You have my thanks, and the thanks of all of Baldur's Gate. These maps on the wall... Hmm. Baldur's Gate, the Sunset Mountains, the Marsh of Chalimba... It is as I feared. The evil that has risen in Baldur's Gate is only part of a greater evil. These three locations are tied, though I know not how. Oh, this gate worries me. This Beholder and his legions were able to use it to enter Baldur's Gate without being detected. It seems this gate is tied to the Sunset Mountains. A further cause for worry. We've heard strange rumors from the Sunset Mountains over the past few weeks. But the agent we sent to investigate the rumors has not returned. I now fear for his life. Please, I must ask you to head through the gate and see what has happened in the Sunset Mountains. Other creatures may have arrived there, and if so, we must know their strength before taking action. You have already accomplished much, and we are grateful. Please, here is some gold and items that may aid you on your mission. Use them wisely. I must go and tell the Dukes of the city what has been discovered here. Please rest and prepare yourself before heading through the gate. There's no telling what waits on the other side. But the attack is uh, a little underwhelming compared to my my previous game stock. <laughs> I'm not going through that gate just yet, and I have to leave the room before I can teleport. I'm gonna hold on to the shield so I find a better one. Welcome back, and congratulations on your victory over the Thieves Guild. I think the streets will be much safer now than they ever were. Friend, it's my honor to know you. You've saved my life, and a lot more in Baldur's Gate besides. I raise my drink to you, friend. I'll bet that damn beholder didn't even know what hit him. It wasn't easy. And yeah, he's right. For the second time he's for the second time I'm seeing this, for the second time he's saying this, he's right. If I had to do it all over again, maybe without those instant death eye traps. I heard of your battle in the Thieves' Guild, friend. You may have saved all of Baldur's Gate from that beholder. Please, my shop is yours. Be sure to tell everyone you meet you buy weapons from my store. Thanks again, friend. I will not forget your kindness. As soon as the roads are safe to travel again, I plan to return home.
there isn't much else I can really do besides save it and walk out of here. I present to you the most depressing part of this entire game, all of Act 2. Oh my goodness. I mean, at least I recover fast. This is just hilarious. Now this is what I call petty revenge.
brother. Can it be you have returned to us? I fear you have returned to us in a dark hour. I think they might be referencing a previous title in the Forgotten Realms series. Not like I'll ever know. What happened here? Where's the rest of the Bruinger clan? This camp is all that remains of our clan. We were forced to fall back when a patrol of Dark Elves invaded our mines. Scores of us fell beneath their poison blades, and they knew when and how to strike us. We were forced to collapse all exit tunnels, save one, and regroup here on the surface. Now only a handful of us remain. Turn back from here, brother. The mines are closed. And there's nothing for you here. I will not abandon them to the Dark Elves. Let me into the mines and drive them out myself. Getting back into the mines is the second of our troubles. Our leader, Colgrim, took the key for the mine entrance with him when he and three of our clan went to climb Burning Eye, that peak in the distance. May I ask why they left? They seek to light the signal fire atop Burning Eye, and summon our brothers from Easting. Trouble is, it's been near a day and a half, and I've seen no signal fire from the top of the peak. I fear they may have been ambushed on the way there. Without the signal fire, we can expect no aid from the nearby towns. And without the key, we cannot even re-enter the mines to try and take it back from the drow. Can the door be forced? The gate to the mines was sealed with our key of Dumathon. No ordinary key. Merely touching it to our gate causes the cracks and spaces of the gate to become solid stone. Not even a battering ram could break the gate now. It keeps us from entering. But at least it keeps the drow trapped in the mines. For now. I'll go look for a Colgrim and his band to see if I can ask him for the key. I wish you luck. And may Klongadin's twin axes bury themselves in your enemies. How can I help you, brother? Welcome, brother. If you're in need of a weapon, you've come to the right place. Never will you see such fine steel as you will in this shop. Swords, axes, hammers, we have more than enough weapons for everyone. I'll... Depression awaits. That's all we're gonna find in these mountains. This isn't the place for that.
Jesus hit them. Yeah, the Sunset Mountains is, uh, is something a bit of a, a sad tale, as anyone who's watching this for the first time might soon discover. As it, first time watchers would soon discover if they watch long enough, just why I find this place to be utterly depressing. To, to no end. There are three directions I have to go. West, east, and forward.
brother. Are you from Easting? Are you here to help us? No, I'm of your clan, Colgrim. I'm here to help you and tend to your wounds. There's no time for that. You, you need to light the signal fire atop the burning eye, or else the clan will be butchered by those dark hells as soon as they find a way out of the mines. I've already volunteered to go into the mines. I just need your key. I don't have it. One of the others has it. We were attacked by a dragon atop the peak. An ice dragon. It froze the one holding the key in a block of ice. You'll need to light the signal fire to get to his body. How do I do that? Me band. Each one of my men was carrying fuel and tinder for the watchtower. Find them and get it from them. Take this flask from me. You'll need it to fuel the flames. I will. I'll find our fallen and light the signal as soon as I can. Thank you, brother. The hopes of our people rest on your shoulders. Rest easy. This looks important.
something.
now the signal fire alight upon the slopes, and you have brought the key. But tell me, did any of the dwarves from the expedition survive? Not a soul. The half that weren't slain by an ice dragon were slain by the ogres instead. They fought valiantly, but they were indeed outnumbered and outpowered. More deaths our enemies shall answer for. You have done enough, brother. No need for you to risk yourself for the clan any longer. Would be the case, so I still need to enter those mines. The drow have to answer for what they've done. Very well, then. I'll not argue with one with fire in the eyes such as you. Simply hold the key in your left hand as you approach the gate. Then, push it into the stone door. It should melt inside, and the door will open itself. <laughs> Luck be with you. Thanks. I'll come back when they're gone.